Hi, my name's Carolina. I recently got into a car accident um, in my Mazda CX-9 and it was a total loss. And I wanted to switch into a hybrid electric model and downgrade in size a little bit for the next car purchase. So in the meantime, I would test drove three different cars. I test drove the RAV4 Hybrid, the RAV4 Hybrid Prime, which is a plug-in option. I test drove the Hyundai Ioniq, which is also a plug-in uh, hybrid. And I test drove the Chrysler Pacifica minivan that was a hybrid as well, and plug-in as well. I went through all the options, uh, tested everything out, and I ended up purchasing a RAV4 Prime Hybrid. I've had it for a week now. I'm really excited. I got the SE, which has a cloth interior, uh, but I did get the weather package, which brings a sunroof. I am really excited about it. It's been ideal. It's kind of fulfilling everything I really wanted, specifically the electric option, which give, the Prime gives you the 40, it gives you about 40 miles, 41 miles once you plug it in every night with 100% charge and it will continue on electric until the battery is completely depleted of which at that point it automatically switch into a hybrid model. I got the car last Tuesday, Wednesday we went on vacation, drove up north about 200 miles, parked the car in uh, our VRBO and then plugged it in every night, drove around electric the whole time, drove back, been plugging it in again every night. Um, I'm able to do my daily routine on at least one charge i mean sometimes it'll, i can go another day or every other day with charging depending on how much i drove but i've so far only used one tank of gas between the whole trip up north back and the daily routine on our vacation and at home so really excited about that i i haven't draw i haven't spent one drop of gas which is this is exactly what i was looking for in the car uh, my kids love it. Um, it's really comfortable, has the pickup that I wanted. Uh, it was, I mean, really, really happy with it. It was interesting, the pro I mean, Toyota was great. They really helped me out um, getting the car. Interestingly enough, it's very difficult to get this car right now. Apparently there was issues with the battery production and there are very limited quantity. So that is actually something that's going to be a problem i think but for most people i mean i was lucky enough to be able to get one of them and i'm really enjoying it and i really hope that that gets resolved because i think it's a good car so that's something that you're gonna to have to look into and see what happens if that's the option that you decide to go with the s i ended up going with the se option because it would also bring down my price point a bit uh the x se with the leather seating and the only way to get the full leather seating is with the XSE Premium Package, which was a little bit disappointing for me. I really wanted to be able to get the full leather seats because it's easier with my kids and my dog. But it really did push me out of my price range, um, being that it was about eight to $10,000 more. And so I kind of stayed with the SE, which gave me the option with the moonroof, which was a big deal for me as well. And for uh, pretty much took care of everything else that I wanted so I opted to go with a SE no leather seats everything else that I wanted in the price point that I wanted and that kind of took care of everything the Apple play is great on the video on the with on all the screens I'm actually getting a call right now said decline uh, the interface is great interface is awesome speakers are awesome the pickup is great and uh, pretty much that's uh, I'm, I'm, I'm happy <laughs> I'm gonna say it's gonna say much more about that Let's see I'm gonna show you guys the whole plug-in option it's not too difficult the price point for this was um, MSRP was 41 800 ish with the $7,500 cash back that I would get from the federal government once I do my taxes so kind of put me down in the in the thirty three thousand dollar range which is where I wanted to be I was able to finance at a four point I think it was four point ninety two interest rate but maybe there's other deals going on I'm not quite sure
all plugged in. So let's turn it. So you see how now it says EV on the top, I have 28 miles left. And then on the bottom, it'll tell me if I'll have 295 if I go with um, the hybrid, which is half the tank. So technically it's like 300, I'm 600 uh, miles per tank. But I mean, honestly, I've never, I don't go past the 28. So I get home, I plug it in and then it just, I haven't, the gas hasn't been touched. On a regular day for me to go to work and run my errands, it's probably about 35 miles round trip between driving around, going to the store, doing whatever I need to do and coming back. And then by the time I plug in, I usually am about 10 miles, eight miles or so. On the weekends, I plugged it on Friday and I didn't plug it again until Sunday. And then today I drove around doing a bunch of errands and I only went through 13 miles. So in theory, I technically would never have to put gas unless I was going out on a road trip or such. But I mean, that's the ideal. That was what I was looking for. I wanted the electric option with the backup of the hybrid. So, so far, that's, it's ideal. Checking out my boxes. All right, so that's it. I'm just plugged in the, the car for the day and that'll give me another whole 24 hours of driving around without any gas, which is great. So pretty happy with it, thank you.